all the internationally recognized and required features, the international organization, international civil aviation organization, ICAO standards, it has ISO certification, and uh, it is a passport. There is a passport on this card for travel within the, within the West African sub-region. When the e-gates of those um, other West African countries are available or open, you can literally travel through the sub-region with this card without requiring a paper passport. It is not to say that a paper passport is not necessary for other international travel, but it's just to demonstrate the enormous capacity that is on this card and the comprehensiveness which allows or will allow all other data silos to be connected and the validity of claims of other, pass I mean, other documents to be checked against the National Identification Authority database. I will not bore you with details. They are all in the booklet. And in the coming days, our very able public affairs or corporate affairs department will be reaching you in your communities and offices across this country and in your homes with details about this card and why every Ghanaian must register for the card. But I must say, by law, if you must prove your identity, it is only the Ghana card that you can use to prove identity. Within a year from now, when every Ghanaian in Ghana and every Ghanaian abroad has been given the opportunity to register for the Ghana card in the first instance for free, and you fail to do that, you would not be able to access certain services, facilities, and opportunities that are customarily available to the public. And so I urge all Ghanaians to take this ad great advantage and register for the new Ghana card, the one card that is your passport to social inclusion.